this week's episode of Slacking Off. Welcome. <laughs> um, catch us slacking off all over YouTube, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts on Tuesdays. And if you want to tune in early, early on Monday nights, WMFR Radio Connecticut. If you want to be ahead of the game, PM. catch us there. Yeah, you can catch us a little early and then uh, the next day we go out everywhere else. Yeah. Don't but. forget to subscribe and follow if you guys like this shit. Uh, subscribe to the channel it helps us it really does yeah um so if you even if you don't like us but you're like Sus- in the mood to help somebody yeah subscribe us then mute us it's yeah. probably the best thing subscribe to do. and mute yeah <laughs> honestly even if you do like us uh, we have a shelf life <laughs> we, we uh, you're not gonna yeah <laughs> you're not yeah trust me you'll hate us after about four episodes uh, that's for sure. Yeah, just go look at our back catalog. Back or what is it? Back catalog. 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 Go look at our back catalog. Um, and hate on it. Hate on it. Tell us in the comments. We have a lot of awesome stuff. We have a lot of stuff that's not awesome too. Okay, so our camera died in the middle of this because what? Right? Why not? And if the freaking thing gives me another thumbs up right in the middle of my face, I'm there's lose something it. about what you're doing that it's uh, that it's giving us a thumbs up. Is it your hat? I wonder. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's supposed to bro, just I'm gonna do that when you do it. How do I? Whoa! <laughs> Dude, we gotta turn this off. It's like doing it incessantly. Oh, lots of thumbs ups. Oh, MG, MG, dude. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got rid of the reactions. I think I'll just leave a couple of those reactions in there so you guys can see what was annoying me so freaking bad, dude. This is like the 15th thing I've had to fix today. Yeah. I sometimes the podcast. Sometimes we run into technical difficulties and it's a part of the job. But you know what? We're just happy to be here. You know what? There's smudges on my screen again cuz look at the fucking things. The what? You're good. Do you think Batman has technical difficulties like this? <laughs> or do you think that like or you like think, Iron Man? Yeah, you think Iron Man is just like, he builds like these crazy suits and stuff like that, and then, it, then he never has to do, like, he's like, yeah, oh. Like, he does an upgrade to his yeah. software, and then like in his visor, it just keeps putting <laughs> yeah. reactions in his face, and he's like trying to fight a man. What if I, yeah, Iron Man's trying to fight Ultron or something, and then all of a sudden, it's like a thumbs up emojis right or everywhere. He's just like, no! There's no way that Batman or Iron Man are dealing with the same things. They're not. They're not constrained by using somebody else's software because no. Tony Stark just makes his own. I mean, we've tried Chat GPT, but listen, it ain't Jarvis. No, it's working on it. Helps me cheat on my homework, but I mean, other than that, <laughs> just kidding. I have homework, but yeah. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna get into the news of the week, but mm. first, I wanted to. Do a little bit of aftershock stuff. Um, I'm gonna be there next week. No, I keep saying next it's week. It's this week. I'm this, flying out in this weekend. Two days. Yeah. When you guys see this, it'll be tomorrow. We're yeah. gonna do family feud aftershock edition. Yeah. Sort of. Sort of. We're gonna call it that. If I don't know if that's legal, but we're gonna do it anyway. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take basically a poll of the people that we talked to at the show. Mm-hmm. Um, Tim and I are going to decide without using the headlining act each yeah. day. We're going to ask people uh, who their favorite or who they're most excited to see that day. Yep. And survey Tim, says. Survey says. Yeah. That Tim and I have to guess, and then whichever one of us each day uh, wins gets the most people to say the band we thought. We're just going to get a point that day for each one. Maybe actually for each one that they say, we'll just keep the points adding. That's what we'll do. Yeah. See. We'll figure it out. We'll figure this out. We shoot from the hip. We're slackers. So each of us will get a point for each time the band we picked comes up. Comes up. And at the end of this, we're going to figure out a way to punish the loser. Um, Stay tuned for that. We have a few ideas that that could be pretty funny. My first idea was face tattoo, but uh, that was too much. (laughs) Hey, I'll do a face tattoo. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I better win. I want to do a better nose on my nose. Or maybe just shade the parts I don't like so it looks like smaller or something you want to do like a cosmetic nose like a like a like a a over-the-top nose job yeah okay that's a terrible idea that is but there's no way that would work 
<laughs> There's no way. You just would have to put something interesting on your nose, like an iguana right at the end of it. Or <laughs> just I don't like know. chill in there? Yeah, or something. <laughs> like it had to be there'd have to be something interesting on the, or you know oh my gosh you would be a cool you know it'd be really cool no i know i, I know a, I, I got a cool got a one cool <laughs> okay Let's okay okay first. mine would be <laughs> my my tattoo for the end of your nose would be rafiki holding simba <laughs> Dude, that's actually brilliant <laughs> Why is that not a thing? Rafiki holding Simba at the end of your nose would be the best tattoo ever. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and then when people would like really have to look, you know what I mean? They'd be like, what, the, what is on this person's nose? Yeah, you never bring it up. <laughs> yeah, because they'd be, they'd be leaning into your face and it's like, ha, ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know if I want to tell mine now. I was, <laughs> Dude, I, I don't know where that came but from. I was but I was thinking like if you were on a handstand. You could do like a Ninja Turtle, like your nose hole would be the manhole. And then the Ninja Turtle would be like poking out of the manhole, just like waving or something. <laughs> but you'd have to be in a handstand for it to make sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe. Those, those times in life when you're upside down, it's yeah. going to go off. Monkey bars. Monkey bars. You know what I mean? Um, um, that's really about it. <laughs> Honestly, that's some weird... Sexual positions, maybe, or one of those things that you hook your ankles into, and then oh you, yeah, to like stretch your, stretch back, your back out. out yeah. yeah, that. So yeah, if you have back problems later in life, that, that tattoo's that gonna, tattoo's go gonna come in handy. So <laughs> I, I, don't know, I don't know if it's gonna be as good as Rafiki <laughs> hanging out with. <laughs> Do that. That's a good one. <laughs> Hanging out with Simba. Oh. Uh, you have to find a way to kind of make it look 3D. But that would be unreal. So, yeah, that's going to be a loser. Yeah. And they're going to be punished. Honestly, if I have to get a Rafiki tattoo, I'm going to be the winner. <laughs> the winner might be the loser. Yeah, the winner might be the loser. The loser might be one. the winner. Yeah. Or whatever. Exactly. Each day, we're going to do this for each day at yeah. Aftershock. So when I'm there at Aftershock, I'm going to go out and I'm going to interview the people and I'm going to get the survey. Okay. I'm going to survey the people for the answers. So... We're going to have to go through the lineup here. I'm going to throw it up on the screen for the okay. watching. Tim and I are going to look at it right here and pick. But we're going to do each, we're each going to pick a band that we think people are going to be most excited to see for each day. Whoever loses gets punished in some, some fashion, some way. We have some good ideas. Yeah. You're not going to be disappointed. And then we already explained at the start of this that we can't pick at the headliner. So headliners are wiped out. Yeah, no headliners because everybody's everybody's excited to show up and see the headliner. Let's right? do it like this. So so that's more fair too. Like you get to pick first on Thursday, like okay. me Friday, you Saturday, me Sunday. Okay, okay. So you get to pick first Thursday. Um I can't get to, use Slayer. Can't use Slayer and or Pantera, right? Because they're the headliner on that stage. So we can we can't use Slayer. Nothing in white. See all the headliners are in white. So I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with Hailstorm on Wednesday. Hailstorm? Yeah, I'm, I think people are gonna if they're not okay, okay. if they're not excited to see Slayer or Pantera, if they don't count, then I think they're gonna be excited to see Hailstorm. You know, this is tough for me because because dude, Seven Dust has like the most underground. Oh yeah, huge. <clears throat> following following so but i'm having trouble because i think the till lindman thing where he's this is like his debut solo stuff in the u.s that's also pretty big but i have a feeling people if that said ramstein yeah if that said ramstein yeah I'd pick it i don't know that people know because honestly it took me a minute to figure out kind of what they had going on and then to figure out that it was his debut yeah solo stuff in the u.s so i am gonna go seven dust seven dust is a good choice Seven Dust is a good choice. You're up on Friday. So Friday, I get the first pick, and I can't pick Slipknot or Death Dive Punch. Finger Death Punch. Yeah. Um, Ooh. Dude, I feel like I'm gonna. I feel like I'm gonna steal that though. It is kind of. Well, I, I don't know. I, that's why I was just looking. I, as you go down that, I, I just I, choose I, yours. I, I know who you pick if. I well, um, if I pick one, I know you're gonna pick the other, mm -hmm. and vice versa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I think I'm gonna go rise against. Man, that's dude. You, I, know. I feel like you just lost. I think I'm that day. You just. But I, knew, I know what you're gonna do too. Because yeah, I who think, wouldn't be? They're all gonna be Jack to see Evanescence. Yeah, I might. You that you too. screwed that up bad. I don't know though. Rise, rise against, against is awesome. Rise against is awesome, and you never know like, who has the California following. That's what I'm thinking. That's the other things you show up. You I sometimes like you show up and California. Sober. You know how like Cal. You know how people say California sober. 
Well, there's another thing I think where it's bands have specific California followings. Oh yeah. And you never know who you're going to show up and just be like, Oh really? You're here to like that. That's who you're because California dude, they're crazy, man. They got the California following. So you never know. Rise against my, they do care about like their hometown. Or, that's like, true. Home team. Yeah. Yeah. They're home teamers. Yeah. They're homers. Sure. Oh man. That means I, dude, that this means is, you, this is brutal. That I just got the go first pick on Saturday. Uh, oh yeah. I get the first pick. Okay. But just for the viewers and the listeners, uh, you can't use Iron Maiden. You can't use Judas Priest. Just so but there's clear, a lot of good freaking Iron Maiden would be mine for the whole weekend. Like that would be mine. That would, that would be who you want to yeah, see the most. The most. Um, so, oh man, listen, it feel this one, oh, this one's tough. Honestly, I think I'm getting a weird. Well, you got to go with what you think people are going to yeah, say. Yeah, this is what I think people are going to say is probably, I mean, kind, that one kind of, that one sticks out to me that Breaking Benjamin would be the obvious next one down. I think? I don't know. I don't know. I, for me, it would be POD, but, but. I think Breaking Benjamin will. I think Breaking Benjamin is going to get me the best numbers. Okay. I think I'm going to lose this one anyway because of Breaking Benjamin. So I'm going to roll the dice and I'm going to say POD. <laughs> Just to Dude, make it I, interesting. I, I think I'm going to lose it anyway. I, but if I take your POD and win with it, you're going to... I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be pissed. That's who I would want. Yeah. Let's try POD that day. Okay. And then Sunday, I get the first... I mean... So Motley Crew off the board, Disturbed off the board. Actually, this is kind of tough. I think it'll be falling in reverse. Yeah. That, that's because there's that's so a, much. That's a pick to win, but here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. That's the pick to win. I'm going to go skill it. Okay. Because I think skillet fans show up to skillet shit. Okay. I think skillet fans show up. So I like Ronnie's got this dude. They're so good live. He's just got this thing going on too right now where he's yeah, like he's in the he's mix. full rock star mode. Yeah, he's in the mix. And falling in reverse is so good live. They're so good live. Yeah, they do so. put on a hell of a show. But I, I'll go skillet because I feel like skillet skillet fans do show up for sure. All right. So I guess we'll see. But that, well, that's our choices. We're going to lock them in. But uh, Locking them in. Survey says. We'll see. Survey says. I'm going to go uh, watch out for us because I'm going to be you know, stomping, the, stomping the ground. You know what? My, I think my. Building the survey. Because the first. I chose Hailstorm and on the first day and Evanescence on the second day. Those, those, two, might, those two might really kill it for me. I had to, actually. Interesting. Yeah, I, I had to go deep for Seven Dust, but dude, they, they it's like the skillet thing, dude. Seven Dust people. They show up. Yeah. Oh, any rock news stuff. Let's get into some rock and roll news. Rock and roll. Let's news. get into some We should oh. need a little jingle for that, but it's fine. This is something that happened in rock news, and this we put this out on our socials. It got it was a hot button issue. People seem to like to want to talk about this. Oh yeah. Um I was just throwing it out there because it's interesting. And I don't know. We've talked Tim and I have talked a little bit and like it's fun reading the comments because everybody's an expert on everything nowadays. But yeah. Like, to hear all the different takes on this. But Pink Floyd sells their music rights to Sony for $400 million. Uh, what do you think? Wild. Here's the thing. I, I, I don't know. I don't know that. Is Pink Floyd generating $400 million or more right now? That would be a good question. <laughs> like, are their current music rights generating that much money hey if they are good investment by sony if they're not then i mean that's a lot i don't remember the last time i heard a pink floyd song in the wild you know what i mean not listen i love yeah, pink floyd other than the, i listen i do still listen to some radio uh, and i like to listen to classic rock radio so i do hear them out there sure yeah maybe i mean maybe but you know but let me ask you this question are you prepared to now hear pink floyd like on a kia commercial <laughs> Yeah, that's probably what's gonna yeah, that's honestly probably what the deal is going to be, is that we're going to hear more Pink Floyd through other means of media. Yeah, so, it's going to be like a car commercial. Or, like or Sony video. bought it, so like the next Spider-Man theme song is probably going to be a Pink Floyd related somehow. I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be like a Kibbles commercial, and the dog's going to be laying there and be like, I wish you were here. Like, <laughs> it's going to be stuff like that. It's going to get cheaper yeah, probably. So probably, I don't know. Um, that's pretty is wild. Is Pink Floyd in the world a bad thing? No. I don't think so. No. Yeah. 
Um, then we were talking about in terms of like, I don't know, Dak Prescott's, what was his, his contract was like 60 million a year. It was like 400 million or something like that over. Yeah. Over the span of several years. So four years, five years, something like that. Yeah. I might not be exact on any of these numbers, but if you look at it in con in that kind of a context, I don't know, man. It's like, uh, I don't know how to feel about it. It's a lot of money. Those dudes are pretty old. Like it's obviously a good little payoff for them. Yeah. They're super old. It's hard to make money in music yeah. anymore. It's not like they're going to go out and like just beat the street trying to make money touring. Yeah. They've already done that. They've been there. Yeah. So I don't know. Good for them, but that's wild. That's four hundred million people are calling dollars. Calling them sellouts. Does that make you a sellout? No, it doesn't know. make you a sellout. You know, they're they made music that everybody enjoyed. Do they get? Do they deserve a little money? Yeah, I think so. They, I don't know. They freaking culminated an entire freaking life they of making music into a four hundred million dollar contract. Yeah, uh, everybody can shut up. How about that? <laughs> How about if, hey, listen, if you have a problem with it. And you weren't there recording it with them and working on it with them. That sh- probably just shut up about it. Like, who cares if mean- Pink Floyd <laughs> sells it? Honestly, it's like they sold that piece of toast with Jesus on it for like so much money on eBay. <laughs> like, were, are you mad at the toaster? Is the toaster a sellout or the person that did it? No. So, like, who freaking cares? Does that mean we have to show? What's up? here? This is I'm this here's this is stupid about people that that like rock and roll. This idea of a sellout, first of all, right? Because this is gonna get heavy. Well, here's here's my thing about it. The idea of a, of being a sellout, in some terms, is just really dumb because that music had to go through a lot of work to just get to your ears. And then, if it's your favorite band and you bought tickets to go and see them, mm-hmm. they're making money off of it. Like either way, you know what I mean. So, the fact that people get so been out of shape about when something like this happens to Pink and Pink Floyd. Come on. I mean, it's just like, yeah. it's not like they're a new up and coming artist or some crap. Like, come on, dude. Lame. Yeah. Who cares? It, they, no, they're not. It, no, they're not sellouts. You know, it's pretty metal. You know what I think is pretty metal? What? How the female Prang Manis eats uh, the male after, like, after they do it. And yeah. Stuff. And then they always they like start at the head. They eat their entire head off. And then their entire, they just eat the entire thing. You know, this is what. That's pretty metal. This is cr- what's crazy about it. That is super metal. <laughs> and Black <laughs> Widow gets all the credit. You know what I mean? Like Black Widows get all the credit for killing their mates. Oh, yeah. But that's not nearly as metal as a female praying man. And I've watched it. Yeah. I've seen it. We caught two when I was in grade school. We had them in our school. It's not. Yeah. It's gnarly. It's gnarly. It's one of the most metal things. I've and ever also, seen. like, the male just accepts that. He's just like, yeah, this is how we die. Do you imagine? The, yeah, no. If like they just Ashley one day was just like, uh, hey, they so don't, like, uh, cook it up, put it on a plate, not just gnaw. Yeah, they just assen- yeah, they essentially just get eaten, eaten alive, <laughs> eaten. I think that's pretty metal. That's pretty metal. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty metal, dude. You know what's pretty? Oh, dude, you know what's pretty metal? What is? Um, that's pretty metal cheerleaders that get ran over at football games and then they just get up and keep cheering <laughs> that's metal bro because that like imagine just getting ran over by like a human <laughs> four times your size yeah and like some players when they get ran over by other players are hurt and they're in pads well, and helmets and stuff but when a cheerleader gets ran over and then she gets up and she's like okay throw me like that's metal dude well the the, the metal part about it is the dude this football player is literally everything he's done up to this point is built him to hit people (laughs) and literally the opposite for the cheerleader. I think everything they've done up to this point is to not be hit by anybody. Exactly. So yeah, that's pretty metal. That's pretty metal. Cheerleaders. (laughs) You know what else is pretty metal? What? Is um, that one scene in Armageddon when Steve Buscemi's riding the rocket. Oh yeah. And he's like, I can't. I can't remember exactly, but he's like pretending like it's a horse or something. And he's yeah. Like, yeah. And then, who's the other character that was like? <laughs> the, the, it's like the military, like actual, <laughs> like it's like the actual astronaut guy that's yeah. like, that's like, get 
off of the nuclear war. <laughs> yeah, could you please get off the nuclear I, warhead? I was watching. Uh, but think of this whole situation. Yeah, he's riding a nuclear warhead like a horse on a asteroid. That's going to destroy the world. Destroy the world. Yeah. Like that's pretty metal. Uh, that's it for this week. We're really excited for all. There's going to be a absolute. St- crap show of content coming you guys' way. Crap load. Yeah. Seven metric crap loads of content coming you guys' way from this this upcoming weekend. A total buttload, yeah. A total buttload of content coming up this this weekend. So you guys look out for it on all of our socials. Yep. The Instas and the Faces and the Twits and, oh, Twitter. Uh, X on X. X. And also yeah. TikTok. That'll be a little... TikTok, yeah, for sure. So Tiki Talkie. So, uh, yeah, you guys have a good day. And Sorry about all the technical difficulties, but we still love you, even though most things happen. <laughs> <laughs>